In this episode, I will tell you why Fnatic has the best utility usage on the planet and showcase also why other teams don't have that. Welcome to Lotus Lab. We're gonna first talk about Bind and a Viper Wall. Why Fnatic is using a Viper Wall that almost no one else uses, and everyone thinks it's the same, but it's not. So first, we're gonna play here from between Vitality and Fnatic a match on Bind that you will see how Fnatic is using a Viper setup here on short with a standard smoke on lamps and a wall on short. And at this point, people will be like, "Oh yeah, so you just wall up short and smoke uh, smoke lamp, and that's it, and it's done." The thing is, it's not done. So, this is the Fnatic vi uh, Viper Wall that they use on short, that is being done from spawn. The other teams are using a Viper Wall that goes like this, covers lamp and CT as well, and it goes on the more angular um, di direction from here. As you can see, it goes behind short, essentially, to cover short to lamps. The difference is staggering. Why is it staggering? Well, I will tell you why Fnatic is using this wall and why it's so much better. So, the point is, the the first first job of this setup from Viper, whatever it is, it is, might be the other wall, it might be this wall from Fnatic, uh, the point of this is that you, when you wall up and you smoke up, you're able to sneak into lamps, right? And the thing is that that is the main job of this setup. But as a Viper, you want to have multiple tasks being done by one setup. That's why it's so min-maxi when it comes to playing Viper, and Fnatic is great at that. So what they do is, I'm going to show you also a smoke lineup that I created. I'm not sure certain if Fnatic is using the same one. So this is a Viper, wall, a Viper smoke that I use for lamps. Uh, from here, you can see there's the dark line from uh from from mario spot i call this mario because it looks like a mario pipe right so we throw it like this no jump nothing it's very consistent you just throw it like that and then it lands in front of lamps and it also blinds the player that is standing in this corner so when you're standing here you're gonna be fully blinded you can't see anything so you're an easy target because when someone goes into the smoke you, he sees you and you don't see him so this is the viper smoke that you can use on lamps, right? But now, the difference between the Viper Wall from Fnatic and the Viper Wall from the other teams is that with this Viper Wall, you're able to create multiple pressure points because you're able to go onto the boxes on short and peek onto site at any given point in the game. While with the other wall that goes here, you're not able to do that because you're not going to see sight, so you're going to expose yourself while giving the opponents an advantage. So here, when you have this Viper Wall from, uh, from Fnatic, it builds more pressure because when someone holds either sight or lamps, you're never, you're never going to be ready for every single angle that your opponent will do. Because right now you have to worry about players sneaking to lamps, but also about a player that might be on top of the box and peek you whenever he wants to, right? So you have like multiple pressure points that the attackers are doing because it's one, two, and three essentially, right? So like three multiple pressure points. And also you're very consistent um, with doing this lineup because it ends on this bo on top of the box and doesn't really do anything with lamps. So you're more easy to, uh, you, you have better angles to flash lamps because the wall doesn't cover anything, right? And uh, it doesn't really matter if the wall reaches lamps and CT because you need to go to site first. That is the most important. This is why Fnatic prefers this Viper wall over anything else, right? So essentially, um, that's why you do it. That's why you prefer this wall over anything else because it's just more efficient. And teams who are doing the other Viper walls are just inefficient at attacking because you're not able to build up the same pressure that Fnatic does when they play from short. Also, I can show you a better, a better smoke that I prefer personally. Um, but you know, might have you might have a different opinion. You stand next to the Mario on the green whatever this is, and then you aim like this. So you take the HUD spot here next to your 100 HP, right? You take this white line and you put it in the corner over here. Here, right here in this spot. So you put it like this, no jumping, no anything. You just press left click and it lands on this spot in the lamps. And in my opinion, this is a better 
smoke than the other one because when you smoke up you're able to bait people into standing into this small small part of the map so you're able to isolate a gunfight way earlier on but it also allows you to get better uh lamp control why because the smoke covers this every single angle if you put the smoke for this area you don't cover this area and that defender can still stand in this spot but with this smoke when it's activating and you're standing here you're also blinded right so when you're standing in this corner and it ha and most likely you're gonna be dead because of this because of the smoke first time we play against it because you're not expecting to be blinded while in this position so not only you're getting decayed but when the attackers are going in you you are in a very peculiar spot because you're gonna be smoke up you stand here and you don't know if you're visible or not so your opponents will go into the smoke and see the see the defender standing in this corner while the opponent will not see him right so you get a free frag and the same happens if you stand in this corner and it baits people into standing here so when you smoke up you see this small corner here that you can stand in you can't because you're getting blinded or you're being decayed or you're swinging out already and you're dead as well so i think it's more efficient and also can bait out people into standing into this isolated corner on short the smoke that goes more into this direction so it covers this angle is better if the viper wants to push aggressively alone into short i guess um uh so uh yeah i would say that's about it but also one more thing so why fnatic is also genius is because even though this is meta that mostly only they use right they already figured out a counter so when you look at the compositions that are being played on bind uh, cypher is being played by fnatic why because cypher puts a camera over here in this area and counters this viper wall so essentially they, they are building a meta game that they are already countering and almost no one else is playing cypher on this map because everyone plays like double duelists or uh sort of double initiators or um yeah mostly double initiators right so they play like double controller double initiators and one duelist well fnatic plays cypher instead and they're able to control short space so essentially counter the pressure from the meta setup of viper and that's why they're ahead of the game in almost every single meta game because they're able to read into those positions that the that the opponents will try to copy from them but also copy badly right so uh this is why fnatic is just one of the best teams when it comes to uh, min maxing utility and when you see a viper that does this wall if she understands why, it's very tough to attack against that, sorry, defend against that, while this Viper wall that goes more to the right is really, really bad. Hope you guys learned something. And uh, yeah, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching the Lotus Lab. Make sure to uh, share with your friends who play Viper or just are interested in pro play and why some teams are just ahead of the game.